So probably about five or six weeks ago, I noticed that my phone, when I was pressing on it, felt like I was getting like heptic feedback, like a vibration type of feedback, but only from this top right hand corner, not from uh, the bottom or the right or the left. And since I didn't get this 6S Plus, I knew that there was something going on here. So I um, took a look at the uh, perimeter around the edges and I found something interesting. So this is the one that uh, has the issue, but if I go and uh, try and show as clear as I can uh, this side here, you'll notice that, there, that the seam between this aluminum side that's uh, almost like a clamshell and it's clamped over there's a like a rubber g gasket slash perimeter that's kind of built into this top display and it's right over that and as you can see it's just very seamless if you were to put water uh, on this edge all along here it, it wouldn't seep in and as I'm pressing down on it you can see that the seam doesn't move or anything like that this is the replacement one now this is the one that uh, I had to get warrantied through and uh, let's see you, again, you can see, uh, you know, around this edge, it looks it looks okay. It's very clean, very clear, but you perhaps can see a discernible distance right around this area from the top to about the center. And probably, if I press down on it, you should be able to see. You can see how that display is now moving up and down. Uh, the camera doesn't do this justice uh, in person. I can see um, there's quite a bit of distance, and you can hear a clicking. It's hard to pick it up on the phone. Maybe if I... I don't think you can hear it on there. But you can also uh, hear a discernible click when you're over here as it's kind of clicking on and off, on and off. It's, it's There's no button here. Uh, it's just rubbing against. Um, this phone hasn't been dropped at all and I'm, so I'm not sure why just in this area it has uh, come undone. But of course, um, being the fact that I keep this uh, in the shower or that I'm in human environments and obviously I don't want this to get uh, any worse where for example maybe it'll start opening up more on the left hand side and the whole thing will fall out so I just thought that was an interesting problem that I've been encountering with this so Apple more than uh, willing uh, replace this oh there is the yeah I don't think you can hear that click uh, they more than um, were willing to replace it I uh, hopefully they won't charge me since it's never been dropped they can just uh, see that it's it's an issue but um, I'm not sure I think there you can definitely see how much that screen actually moves. So this whole section here is just really moving and you can feel uh, a click that's coming from there. So anyway, I didn't, you know, this, these phones work very well um, as far as the hardware is concerned. I was surprised to see even that. Um, it's not bent any more than the new one is. I, you know, I put it to the edge so the camera is not resting on it and moved it back and forth and it doesn't seem to uh, from what I can tell, it doesn't seem to shake any more than this one does. So I got to make sure that this raised portion on here, see if I can get that clear, that this raised portion isn't uh, on the table, obviously. So putting it under that, and that doesn't shake or wobble any more than this one does. So I don't think it was uh, from being in my pocket, although I do have this uh, constantly in a protector. So um, hopefully. Uh, I won't have to encounter this with the with a new one. That would be nice. Um, I've had this one for about I think about a year, so I can't really say anything else has gone wrong with it. This uh, this has worked really quite well. So anyway, if anyone has any issues or I've seen that on the left hand side, I'd be curious to see if this is a, a you know, an isolated problem, a systematic problem, uh, what's going on, you know, maybe they just get weak overuse or, you know, it was on the same side as the rocker button, so perhaps since there's more cutout material, it's, it's just a little weaker, so it doesn't stay in its place, kind of works its way out a little bit, I'm not sure. What I do find it interesting is that it is on this left-hand side, unless, of course, this rocker button has something to do with it. Remember, you have to cut, or, cut out uh, a lot of support for this rocker button you know you gotta cut a lot of material from this left hand side so perhaps this has something to do with it and the little bit of material is you know taken out for the selector switch here so 
maybe that has something to do with it. Otherwise, it's interesting just because when I'm using the phone, I'm right-handed. You know, I rarely use it on this upper left-hand side. You know, most of the time I'm over. You know, I'm not over here. I'm over here and putting my code, moving left and right. You know, it's not typical that I would be up here. So I don't think it's from my my everyday use. Just because it's too far, uh, it's just just to the right. So I'm not sure what's going on. Um, why that occurred, but at any rate, as I said, Apple was willing to replace it, and it was um, it's an interesting problem. I thought I wanted to see if anyone else was having that. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more interesting videos, feel free to visit my website at bucketofmass.com. That's a uh, bucketofmass.mass.com. Thanks again. Bye.